Rapid Africa All day, all day God Eat a fire weed over fire weed Rise up, rise up yeah. No, we don't work hard, he lost no more Light up, light up yeah. And now you better take it out, show me If you believe that you are all you Flexing your move, gotta show you. Let them understand who you are It's bigger than the world, yeah For so many years and so many ways They try to pull us down, yeah. This is Africans Leaving America. I am Afia Kumsen, and I have a wonderful guest with me today. Can you please introduce yourself to the platform, sis? Yes. Hi, guys. Um, my name is Nasra, and my last name is Juma. Okay. And today I'll be talking about my, you know, a little personal information about me and uh, my roots, where I came from, just just a little bit of that, and um, about my country, Tanzania in general. So thank you guys. Thank I'm glad you. To be here. Thank you for joining me, sis. You know, um, me and Nazareth, we kind of go a little back. You know, um, we met each other at a job that I was working. I don't know if she's there still, but um, we just had so much to talk about in orientation and we couldn't really get our work done because we were just talking so much about, you know, Africa and, you know, the big things that we are both doing, you know, on the continent. So, Nazra, my first question for you would be, how old were you when you moved to the United States? I I was 10 and a half years old. Okay. 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 And, yeah. and, and how has your life changed um, since moving here from a little girl? So how was it growing up when you first got here? I know things were foreign to you. Um, how was that? Uh, at the beginning, it was, it was hard, you know, it's just hard to move and, you know, get used to, you know, you know new culture, you know, different language, you know, different, everything was just different. And I remember crying, you know, um, the first day when we were here talking to my grandma and I was like, I really wish you can come and save me because I don't really understand. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like this place because people like when we moved here, people weren't friendly. You know, you expect people to be friendly and nice and all that good, good to you. But it was just different than um, slowly, you know, my mom, you know, she would talk to us and she was like, you know, you'll get used to it. Um, you're, you know, you'll get used to it. It's, it's going to be normal and, and you, you will like it. So I started a school and it, it was kind of weird at the beginning, you know, talking to different, you know, you're you're in a different world, you know, different people and um different races. Different races, yeah. And you get to deal with certain um, you know, di discrimination comments towards you and all that kind of stuff. And at the beginning, it was hard. I would I would say it was hard, but I'm 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 proud of my mom. You know, we were taught different, you know, to uh don't let the negativity impact you, you know, just don't let that sink in your heart. Uh, don't take everything too personal. And um, so I had that mentality, you know, just stay focused and, and be who you are and um, be proud and, and have that self love. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, have that self love. You are, you are who you are and you are, you are important. Mm -hmm. You know, just know that you're important, you're loved. And, and that just, that really did help, you know. And you are authentic, you know, mm -hmm. you are an, uh, an authentic African woman, you know, Thank and, you. and your, your, your siblings are as well, as well as your mother, you know, like I said, I met your mother before and a beautiful woman, you know, beautiful Thank inside and so out. And she has raised some wonderful daughters. Um, so how do you feel about living here in the United States now that you are not a child, you are an adult? Um, how do you feel about living here now? That's a good question. I like that. As a child, I got used to it and I loved it. You know, everything was fine. I was like, yeah, you know, it's 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 great. I, I like it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I got used to it, but apparently I went back to Tanzania and I 
remember we talked about this my first trip it was amazing i i learned my culture i i learned you know the, the people you know you know how nice people are you know people get to talk to you they don't know you there's no such a thing as a stranger you know um how you you know neighbors to neighbor was would create friendship you know their their kids were play together and and then they have this love and trust you know towards each other and 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 that really did um <clears throat> touch my heart and when i came back i was like i picture this thing and i was like wow I, we we live in a totally different world you know like a whole different you know dimension you know and totally um, different and and i was hurt you know by that you know because i was like wow so we live in this rich society where we you work yeah you do work you make money you know you can't complain about that of course but then then again we don't have that love relationship communication with families you, you know you get to see your, your 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 mom or your dad once in a while and then you get to have like a family talk probably once a year and mm -hmm. it's just not it's not healthy if that if you that know? and then i just i was like i don't i don't like it anymore I, america the more i grew up uh, the more i realized that it's it's just not it's not my place i don't see my myself in the future mm -hmm. you know like maybe 15 years or 10 years from now on i don't see myself here mm -hmm. and the more i grew it's not my field mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. because with what we go through in our daily lives, you know, you're, I'll, 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 I have this thing in my mind, or it's, I, it, it could be wrong, you know, that I'll rather be poor. Hey, that's me too, sis. That's totally you know? me. I would rather be happy and poor than rich and miserable. Any rich day. and miserable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You work, mm -hmm. you, 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 you make your money, you work, you have things, you know, but um, you're just not happy. And I remember, was it when I started college, I, I went through a lot. I went through a lot. I had to drop out of nursing school and I just, there was just so much in my mind that I couldn't control it. You know, it was just, you, you, then I began to have suicide thoughts because with what I was going through and I, I have, I have nobody to talk to, you know, mm -hmm. I would mm -hmm. have my school counselor talk to them, but it, it wasn't. So were you depressed because you were here in America or you were just overwhelmed with schooling and everything that America has to offer? The racial, you know, racism mm. is a big thing in our country right now. I've been through it. It's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. you've been through it too. It's for mm -hmm. everybody. School system. I don't think school would be something that will have to do with me. Sometimes, you, yeah, school as well, teachers, professors you have, you know, and, and you're there trying to learn, but you see that they don't treat you the same as the other race mm -hmm. that's problem like when you're when you're when you're in class you're a student you're trying to learn you're trying to fight uh, uh to get there as a black person it's it's just like they pull like a block like a wall you know it's the, the you try the harder you try it's like they don't notice and then mm -hmm. in some way they kind of make you feel stupid like you're not doing great great yeah you're not yeah. being greater you're not trying harder and that becomes a problem so, and not just in college, that happened a lot in, you know, elementary, high elementary school. Elementary school, middle school, high mm -hmm. school, all that. And you that's know. why a lot of us give up a lot. It's a lot of, you know, um, Blacks that drop out of school, you know, never want to return to college. Even if they did finish high school, they don't want to return to college. You know, sure. because of that, you know, um, what you're talking about right now is a lot of childhood trauma that revolves around the school system here in America. Absolutely. If you are a black man or a black woman. So mm -hmm. and, I'm sorry and, you went through that, sis. And if you want to talk about things like that, it's like there's a bloke that won't let you speak about it. It's you're this weird and you're 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 being dramatic. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, you're trying to create drama, you know. America is great um there's no such a thing as racism you know mm -hmm. we're, we're we're great that happened like 
years ago, you know, mm-hmm. during slavery, and, and now we are fine. We're we're just this one united country. We all love each other. And we're not. And we got each other. We support each other. And it's just, it's not true. It's, it's like so right many there. division sectors in America. So many. <laughs> so many. So many. You know, not just racism, but so many others. You know, so many others. but but racism is the main divider here in the United States. That's and, the and, that's the core of it. And stereotypes. You're white. You're 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 more likely to be considered a, a trustworthy person. You're more likely to be considered. Uh, uh, well trained and, and and professional, in, you know. And overall, you're you're just a you're a better person, you know. And, mm-hmm. and you do better things. And 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 that's not that's not true. Then we grew up putting that in our mind, you know, that um, uh, 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 white people are better. And then you have this mentality. Oh, okay. Then I'll rather marry. I, I, I might as well get married to a white man. So, um. So therefore I had, you know, I would probably have a better generation, you know, in the future. And 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 that's just not true. It's not. You know? It's not. And I feel like a lot of blacks uh marry uh whites so that their children don't have to go through, you know, what they went through as well, you know. As well. And it's so sad, you know, it really is. It's <laughs> mm, mm, and, mm, and you mm. you had this, we 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 grew up uh um we're taught that. Are they right or are, are the black people in America wrong? Or you, you just get to, you hear all kind of stuff. When you're black, you're more likely to steal your, you know, gun shooting and crimes and a uh, 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 weed. It's just everything, everything. So growing up, I had to please uh, um, when, when, when I'm around white people, I had to act a certain way, you know, just, just you couldn't be yourself. You can't be yourself. You can't be loud. You can't be happy. You can't laugh. Um, you just can't talk. You you have to stay still. Like, yeah, like, what are they going to think about me? What are they mm-hmm. going to say? To act a certain way, to please them. So I could, you know, just because you want to be accepted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I want to ask you a question to kind of... Um, piggyback off of what you just said how did you feel around us you know because we were also discriminating towards Africans you know when you all first started coming here because we were taught by the white people about you know Africa this Africa that which was nothing good you know and since we were discriminated against by them we in tune did it to you guys so how did you all feel when y'all came here you know dealing with us when when we first when the when the first week when, when the first time we got here um it, it 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 was it was weird because i was like how can they how can there are black people and they're treating us like that that really never bothered me because once you read the history you you get to understand i wouldn't blame them my sister you know you i was so like woke. i wouldn't you I are was so like, woke <laughs> i was like i wouldn't I blame it. them it's not their fault it's not their fault. It's it's the slavery mentality that they have. They they were taught. They were trained like that. So for me, it was just like you know what. I have nothing to say. It's it's because they were trained now, and I wouldn't blame. I wouldn't want to blame them. They don't know. I'm they like don't they don't know, know better. better. They don't know better. So why would you want to argue with somebody that they know nothing about your? Uh, um, about where you came from. They don't know their history. It's, it's all lies. They tell them whatever they want to tell them. They believe it. So Because they they were all we knew. We didn't exactly. know anything. You, you know, know anything. Um, we didn't. Like I was talking to um, someone else on one of my interviews and I was telling them, I said, you know, I didn't start learning about African history until I was in like the ninth grade. I was like 14 years old. You know, and I was so intrigued by that sector in my school because I had never known what happened. I didn't know how what, how we were over here. You and know, you in the United just a States, a little bit part of it. You learn a little bit part of it. It was crazy when the <clears throat> kids on a school bus they were like, "Oh, Africa's uh, Africans they don't have no car. They don't." And I'm just like, then if they had no cars, how did they we if we moved here? How can our parents be able to, you know, 
uh, uh, drive right away mm -hmm. and, and get your mm -hmm. drive license. Some of them mm -hmm. had international drive license. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's just, it's not true. It's like, oh, everybody that lives in Africa, they all chase lions and, you know, they live in the jungle. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really sad. Mm -hmm. It is, it is the stereotype. You know, but I am so thankful for social media because now we see the truth about Africa. You know, it is no more hidden. Absolutely. You know, it is not hidden anymore. And like, there's no excuses, you know? So um, what I want to ask you, because there's a lot of people that's repatriating back to Africa from the diaspora. Um, what, what would be a good business to start in, Tanz uh, in Tanzania for a repat? Um, there's a lot of business that you can actually do. It, for, for instance, um, the network, the, uh, if you start the network business, like Wi-Fi, things like that. There's so many things, uh, uh, food, supermarket, um, clothes, because there are developing. So there's so many, so many things to do. More opportunities mm -hmm. are there for an investor, um, houses, you purchase the land and resell it, um, things like that. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I've been working on that too as, uh, um, as well. Okay. Okay. You know, I know we I were talking about the shoe business the last time we were, uh, yeah, the shoe together. business is, is, yeah. is a really good business. Yeah. Because a lot of us are moving back and we need to know, you know, what business to start, you know, um, cost of land. Do you know, like any cost of land, like a plot, like a, the average? Like a Do you plan, know? Yeah. Very affordable. Okay. 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 The currencies when you exchange the, uh, uh, to their, uh, a currency, it's, it's, very affordable. It depends on the area. This is what they do in Africa. They have this system that when it's a new person, when there's a new area, it's been discovered. And at, at the beginning, it's, it's cheaper. But when it's well developed and, and, and well um, established, it, get, it gets expensive. So it's the like, underdeveloped land is, is, is the cheapest, pretty yes, much. Okay. pretty much. Okay. There now, which part of Tanzania are you from? I'm from both. I'm from Dar es Salaam, and I'm from also uh, Kigoma region. Okay. I'm um, very mixture into, you know, very, very mixture family. And also um, states, I would call it state. That's the word that I refer to. <clears throat> Tabora. And I just, I have family all over the country, which is okay. Kind of Okay. So I, I'm always all over the place. Mm -hmm. But then again, I love Dar es Salaam because um, it's, it's the capital and it's just, it's, it's just so much going on. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot to do, isn't it? It's a lot of to do, you know, mm -hmm. it's a lot mm -hmm. of to do. It's hot, you know, we kind of like that hot, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, it gets really hot. And um, I like the, uh, I just, I like the, the lifestyle, you know, it's so crowded and, and it's amazing. So how do you feel when you go back home and you have to come back here? How do you feel? Girl, every time that I go, I feel like I don't want to come back. I know. I and it's know. like I have my mom and I have little brothers and sisters and they all want me here. And it's like, okay, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. But um, when I'm there, I just, I gain weight, you know, <laughs> let me just put it that word. I gain weight. I become a very happy person. I get to do things that I don't get to do it here. I get to go out. I get to think and just do things that I love. Express myself, talk to people, go out, you know, travel around the country. Freedom. People, help around for those who need help. You just, you feel welcome. You feel like you're you're loved. Somebody care, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. about the care. You feel like, you know, somebody cares about you. And then I get to, you know, on the street, street food. I like that. Me too. Oh, I love the African and then, food. And then you get to negotiate, you know, the, the price, you know, it's, it's just, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me say something costs $5 and you don't have $5. It's like, I don't have $5. Would you, would you rather, can I, have, I only have $2. Can I offer you $2 or $3? And then they think about it. They're like, okay, I'll go for it. 
Mm. And I found that very interesting. And I love it. At the beginning, it was hard. And my cousins would be like, hey, this is Tanzania. Negotiate before you pay for something. And I'm like, really? Are they going to be able to do it? They're like, watch them. They'll do it. Mm-hmm. But I mm-hmm. begin to do it. And that becomes a part of my life. Yeah. I'm the story. I'm just like, um, would you please? I don't have that kind of money right now. Can you just mm-hmm. give a little discount, you know? Mm-hmm. And then they, they think about it. They're like, okay, it's okay. Give me whatever you have. And it's, 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 it's beautiful. It's different. It's different. It's you know? another world. It's another mm. world. It's just imagine something that costs $20 and you're paying $15 or $11. Mm-hmm. It's not mm-hmm. something. And you can never do that over here. What you no, see is no. what you get. What There's you no see, negotiating. Get. No negotiating. But over there, they do that. Yeah, they do. So look, Nazra, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to ask you one more question, okay, dear? Um, yeah. what, what advice do you have for the diaspora when they visit or repatriate to Tanzania? What I would like to tell them is, Go there, visit, please try to learn. Don't listen to what what you're taught many years ago. It's okay to try new stuff. It's okay to move to a different country and start a new life. It's okay. We can't, we all can't be the same. We don't have to be culturally the same. It's okay to move out. If America is not for you, move out. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stop here. Don't feel like because I'm American, I have to stay here. Travel the world, study, experience, experience different type of love and love. Learn how to give. It's okay to sacrifice once in a while. It's okay, just just move. You know, try different stuff. Try to experience um, different culture. And you you just, you never know. You never know. it could be a place where you become a millionaire. You just, you never know. You just never the world know. is big. The world is for everybody. I feel like the world is for everyone. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Because God created it like that. God created you should be able to go anywhere. Anywhere. It's written in the Bible. Actually, if you live in a certain area and it's just not for you, things aren't right, things aren't going as planned, move to another it's place. It's time to go. It's time to go. Mm-hmm. Don't hold on to some stuff just because, oh, I'm American. I was born here. This is the only place I've always known. Now, you, know? you have a YouTube channel, don't you? Uh, my sister and I are, <clears throat> we're going to start on YouTube, I think, February. Okay. We're going to Tanzania. So pretty soon we're going to start on YouTube. We're trying to, uh, uh, we're slowly buying the stuff that we need for our channel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, Sorry. you make sure you keep me updated on that so we can most definitely support your journey. You know, I'm all about supporting us, sister. Yes. I'm all about, all about that. supporting, supporting yes. each other. Yes. Yes. We have yes. to support yes. each other. We are bridging this gap, you know, one person at a time. We are bridging it. And, you know, I just love you, Nazra. I love your spirit from the first day I met you. And, I love you, you know, I love you too, sister. And blessings on everything that you have going on. Amen. Um, Tell your fiance I said hello. And maybe one day I'll be able to interview you and him together. Absolutely. I can't wait. Probably this coming. In February. How about in February? February? When you go back. Most Yeah, I'm planning for it. Yes, we can absolutely do it. Man, I can't wait. I got that on my mind. You know, I'd be traveling, going to Zanzibar. Wow. And and you know what? I have a love series on my platform too. So check it out. I have a couple videos on there with the lovers. Yeah. Please, I'll do that. And please, you have a YouTube video because you got to have it, sis. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, sister. I got to go. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Thank you. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Rapid Africa. All day, all day, stars. Either fire we do or fire we do. Yeah. Rise up, rise up, yeah. No, we don't go cardi last no more. Light up, light up, yeah. And
and I ever take the action. If you don't believe that you are all you flexing your moves, gotta show. Let them understand who you are. It's bigger than the world. Yeah. For so many years and so many ways to try to pull us down. 